Hey gang, it's Dave Littlejohn. It is Wednesday the 21st, the day before Thanksgiving. Uh, if you've been paying attention, the markets have been pretty dicey, honestly. There's been a lot of uh, big name stocks that have fallen in value and people are starting to call and asking the question, hey, are we gonna do something? Well, as most of you know, we are what we call tactical managers. Okay, so tactical manager is somebody that's trying to intervene in environments that are difficult as an investor and it's trying to get ahead of trends so we're positioning where we believe the market may be going but one of the key components to how we operate is we have to rely on data okay and so it's not an emotional process when you talk about tactical investing or specifically what we're doing for our clients here's the thing i want you to pay attention to there's a, a couple of key concepts for investing first when you buy investments you now have this basket of investments right what we're going to be doing is we monitor every single investment in the basket now, the reason that you diversify your investments is because any one of those in the basket could break, right? Something could go wrong, and so for no reason that's apparent, it could all of a sudden you know, lousy earnings report or something, and, and so we, you know, that's, that position could go down in value. Now, if you own a mutual fund, you don't typically see this, but it's still occurring behind the scenes. You just see the bundled result of everything. But if you own individual securities, you actually see when one position fails. So you diversify. Because what the risk that we're talking about of one position failing and everything else not necessarily failing is what we call non-systemic risk. Because it's not the whole system, it's one thing. So we have a, a trading algorithm process that we utilize. Now it's not trading like you might think, like hey, we're gonna buy in and get out really quickly. It's a very patient process to determine whether or not it's appropriate to own a position. And so we consider that for every position that we own is what are the rules for when we'll own something or when we won't. But what happens when all of the stocks get sick at the same time? Well, we're no longer talking about non-system risk anymore. We're talking about the whole system. So we have something else that we utilize that we call macroeconomic indicators. Now macroeconomic indicators to us and our outfit, what that means is we're gonna look at a slew of different pieces of data, how those pieces of data interact together and then we make a determination based on those pieces of data whether or not it's still appropriate to be invested in the market. Okay, So in 2008, for example, when the markets were tanking, we had all of the fail-safes, all of the data that we watched said, get out. So that was the signal to move to the sidelines or into more protected areas of the investment markets. Right now, today, if you look at the indicators that we're watching, we boil it down to something really simple. It's a stoplight signal. Green is good, yellow is caution, red is bad, okay? And you'll notice that we have three indicators. We have a credit indicator, we have an economic indicator, and we have a market indicator. And that market indicator has gone yellow on us. So that's a warning sign, and what we'll know is at the end of the month, if the data doesn't improve, that that signal is going to turn red. That's our indication that we need to start looking at whether or not to change our strategy whether or not we need to start doing some kind of intervention to manage risk. But we wanna be patient and rely on data, okay? We don't wanna use our emotions or our gut or our instinct on this one because it's really, really hard to validate after the fact whether or not we were correct. If we use data, we can then learn from the decisions and get better next time. So that's what we're always trying to do is make good decisions grounded in the math and the science and less in the art, right? So for now, are we paying attention? Absolutely. We're absolutely paying attention because we have all the indications that tell us something is not quite right here. But are we panicked? Are we losing sleep over it? Well, when I say losing sleep, look, I notice these things. That's my job. That's why people hire me, okay? Uh, but are we panicked about it? No. We're gonna be very rational. We're gonna use the data. We're gonna make decisions and we're gonna act consistently and appropriately. And we're gonna keep in mind that investing by its very nature is not trading. It is not speculating. We're not trying to do something moment to moment or even day to day. We are still talking about long-term strategies. Be patient. Market cycles occur. They are perfectly normal. And when somebody asks me, what do you do when the market falls by 10% or something like that? I'd say, be patient. Because a 10% pullback is very normal. And while it's uncomfortable, I'm less concerned about a 10% pullback in the market, which is pretty typical historically, than I am about the 40% or 50% pullback. Because the math is really simple. When you lose 10%, you need 11 or 12% to dig back out of the hole. When you lose 50%, you need to make a 100% return just to get back to break even. So we wanna make sure that we avoid 
catastrophic damage as investors and be patient for regular market cycles. So that's where we're at. So when you ask, what are we doing right now? We're watching the data, we're patiently watching the data, but if the data changes, so will we. So uh, as always, if you've got more questions, if you wanna know more about the process, how it might affect you personally, if you're not currently investing with us but would like to learn more about why we do the things that we do, I'm delighted to uh, fill you in on more. So if there's you know, the question and commentary below, you can uh, reach out to us via various social platforms. Uh, we've got our email or just call okay? and, and, and we'll happily meet you where you're at. So uh, anyway, as always, thank you and we'll catch you next time.